and see if, if people could just realize this and, and read John P. Holdren's book, read the different eugenicist publications, read the stuff that came out 70, 80 years ago, the different reports that we cover here where they said they would do this to us. And then if you actually consciously realize that if you're a cop, you, it's not, you're with the people. You're, you're being attacked as well. Or if you're a bureaucrat, uh, I, I will bet you money that Rick Perry is not warned about all these things by the establishment. Once he's president, if that happens, they may. 99.9% .9 of us are targeted by this through the compartmentalized scientific dictatorship. And, well, I mean, here's one headline um, dealing with it out of French news agency. Here's another one. Worldwide diabetes more than doubled since 1980. Well, we told you that years ago. It's actually... Uh, up fourfold in, quote, Hispanics. And that's because the different, uh, again, cocktails, the right word of things added to the food uh, is race-specific. And uh, it, 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 it's uh, HIV. Um, Northern Europeans do not have coupler points for the virus. Uh, and it's nearly impossible for Northern Europeans uh, to get it. And that came out in the 80s, of course. They knew that then. That's in medical journals, literally hundreds of different studies. It's a race-specific weapon as well. Um, so if you like being targeted, because the globalists are racist, but they pose as liberals, and then and, and they run all the programs and, and, and finance all the, quote, minority leadership councils. And, and, of course, most of those people are compartmentalized and don't know what they're doing. See, we have studied... The elite's operations. And so I'm here telling you what's being done. This is 100%. Now, all over the Western world, our water is so polluted with this stuff. Um, the sewage treatment that's dumped into lakes, this is always in lakes and rivers that, 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 that are having uh, sewage, uh, treated sewage dumped into them. Uh, here's uh, Discovery News. You can get literally thousands of reports on this all over the world. More hermaphrodite fish in U.S. rivers. And, and, and that's what I said at the time. Um, you see, for me, it's all scientific. I, I, I'm not here attacking people because they're attracted. A woman's attracted to a woman. A man's attracted to a man. I'm here telling you that in cultures and history, there, th th there has been some of that, but in lower numbers. R regardless of a moral uh, point, I I'm not even debating that so I can get through to you. It, it, it's being scientifically done now, and we have the government documents, so you should know why this is happening. It's happening to the animals as well. We'll be right back. Well, I talk about news coming in so fast we can't even cover it anymore. And uh, I know that Matt Drudge, because he's tweeted it, um, is a listener of the radio show and I don't I rarely ask Drudge to link to something because he already links to us so much it's it's more than I could ever ever you know uh, even ask for I mean it's it's literally like uh, you know the god of internet Zeus throwing down the lightning bolt you know and giving it to man then there is no bigger news site and there is no site that drives and sets agendas like Drudge and he is fighting the TSA he is exposing the world government I mean, he literally has done more for the movement against tyranny than any other source I can think of because he's legitimized our reportage, other reportage. He links to European mainline news about world government, and he's forced mainline conservative radio to start admitting this stuff in the last three years. And uh, the Fox pundits and the rest of it. Uh, and the fact that he's breaking the back of the TSA with the rest of the citizenry together. Uh, but I, I, well, I actually... Well, I'm not going to get into it, but I'm, I'm, I may even reach out on this if I need to during the next break because this news that I just read during the break is so big. It's been out for 30 minutes. It's at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And it turns out uh, in the article, and so even if Drudge links to us so much, he, he's welcome to link to TG Daily uh, or obviously Epic, uh, the Electronic Privacy Information Center, got the documents. Um, WUSA TV in D.C. is covering it. Uh, it turns out in Boston and with four other airports since 2003, they've had body scanners. And, and 
uh, it turns out, th this is just so off the chart, that they've known all along that it was giving them cancer and that they went ahead and ordered them for all the rest of the major airports, 214 nationwide. And here's the headline, cancer surgeon body scanner operators, TSA launches cover up and the documents have now been leaked and uh, they're confirmed to be accurate uh, by Epic that the TSA knowingly covered this up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's even been in the New York Times. Top scientists who helped develop these systems came out and said the radiation, depending on the machine, is 20 to 50 times what they told you. And that it's not even so much people that go through it a few times a year. That's bad. But it's, it's being around these. I mean, these put off more radiation than a dental x-ray. We've had radiologists on to break it down. And that's a dentist goes and gets behind a lead wall. When my dad does x-rays or the dental assistants do, they, you know, they go and get behind a lead wall and they put lead shielding over your chest and genitals. And you notice the thickest part of the shielding goes over your, your waist because that's uh, thin skin to the testicles and it can go right in. And as you would expect, they're getting testicular cancer, they're getting brain cancers, it's, it's killing them. And... Again, this is all part of the plan. I've had top scientists on like Dr. Busby saying that many of the globalists in Europe know that radiation levels are going up all over the place, but they don't care because it reduces fertility. This is a plan. And, and, and there, were, there was a couple of former TSA people at the protest at the Capitol yesterday, one lady and one man. There was a Homeland Security ICE agent. He gave me his card. I looked him up. There he is. But he said, hey, I'm American too. I'm allowed to come protest. Um... I mean, it blew me away, and they said, no, everything you said about the TSA is true. And they said, you know, uh, that they quit over it. But this is so off the charts. Uh, cancer surges in body scanner operators. TSA launches cover-up. And uh, there's no doubt this just came out. Uh, Watson ferreted the news and saw it in uh, different regionals and put a boil-down article together. But... Uh, I don't even care if, uh, now that I think about it, Drudge doesn't even have to link to us. I'm sure he'll link to some of these articles. Uh, but cancer surges in body scanner operations. TSA launches cover-up. This is so, this is so huge. In fact, I can just get on my iPhone here right now live and get a little, I'm going to do it later. Um, that's another radiation killer right there where they knew 25 years ago what it was going to do. They're just giving us devices that kill us. But a cell phone compared to these scanners is nothing. But in the aggregate, it's like a cigarette. That's even what the EU's had to admit. They're health ministers. Um, again, government doesn't have total control. It was the EU medical board came out a year and a half ago, two years ago now, and said this whole swine flu thing's fake, the vaccine's deadly, and then later that was confirmed to be true. Uh, and we had the head of it, Wolfgang Wudarg, Dr. W Wudarg, on to, to break it down. And the EU has also come out and said it's like smoking cigarettes. It, you do it over and over again, cell phones. It's, 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 in fact, they found in some of the studies it may be worse than smoking cigarettes. And then you add to it the GMO. You add to it the bisphenol A and other chemicals uh, that are in the plastics. <laughs> this is so incredible. I mean, uh, we already knew this, but to have it confirmed that they cold-bloodedly know that it's a death sentence for all those people. This TSA thing is key in the whole globalist operation. It's about stomping on the state's rights. It's about training you to be a prisoner and to be humiliated and have your private parts touched. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I've talked a lot about this. I remember going on dates in high school and, you know, taking a girl to the movie theater and, you know, having them reach over and, you know, touch on you. And it was electrifying. It was almost, uh, you know, ooh, ooh. Uh, it was all, I mean, you liked it, but it was also kind of, kind of freaky. Can you imagine what it's like to have people you don't know in a public setting grabbing you and actually squeezing? That's why they've had on record airline pilots, military veterans, U.S. troops coming home, um, having their space violated, having their basic humanity. And that's why troops have gotten angry and been arrested. Uh, they've thrown up. Uh, airline pilots have had refused to fly and gone home. It's been in the news and thrown up in their parking lot when they get home. And people are like, well, you're a wimp. No, it's because you're not a wimp that you can't handle it. It's your dignity. I mean, um, 
it, it's 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 sexual assault. That that's why under common law and common sense in every culture, you get killed for going up and grabbing on a woman or or grabbing her genitals. Uh, you know, in the woods out by the well a thousand years ago, the town would get together and take you and have a trial and hang you high just for grabbing on a woman because you don't touch people. This is about. This is about your personal space. It's about mating. It's, it's about choices you make. You leave people alone. This is a big deal. So it's about Tenth Amendment violating. It's about training us to be slaves. It's about getting in our person. And it's about creating an army of people. And we reported over a year ago and then had, had internal sources, and it was later confirmed in mainstream media, that they called TSA in and said, you have a concern about radiation. And if you say yes, they give you a pink slip in two weeks. Uh, and don't even tell you why. They say it's a layoff, even though they're hiring. If you have a trouble groping people, you're fired. So it's kind of like panning for gold. They see people that are stupid or tyrants or pedophiles. It's a spectrum that they're panning for. They see all the people that, that are decent as like dirt, as rocks they want to get rid of. And the little gold chunks they're panning for in the stream of employees are the folks that will do this. They're people that will sit there baking, baking around the scanners all day long. And, and, and this story is so big and so huge, and everything else I've got so big and so huge, I don't even know what to say. I'm going to say it again. And it's all part of a conditioning process. This is psychological warfare. We're supposed to just learn that they, 11 years ago, signed a secret deal with major insurance companies, the Pentagon did, to take all the death benefits from troops when they die and don't give their widows or widowers the money that they paid into out of their check for decades. That's just hiding in plain view. Nobody gets in trouble. Um, the big bank heads steal trillions. They don't go to jail. But then you know, some low-level guy at Citibank steals $19 million because he stole from the bank. He gets indicted. And that's how they operate. Or they bust Blagojevich for engaging in standard corruption, boss hog stuff. But then when Kissinger openly says the U.S. policy is genocide against the third world, we're going to kill him in State Department Memorandum 200, he's, oh, that's humanitarian. Or, or Holden writes books like this, and it's, oh, that's humanitarian. So the, so the big flaming crimes, like huge bonfires of obviousness, that's not a problem. And they cold-bloodedly, because remember, it was, it was four airports starting in late 2002 into 2003. You can pull those articles up. We're testing the body scanners. And so now they've got seven years, in some cases seven and a half, at Boston, Logan, and others, where these went in, where they have cancer clusters, and the TSA people that have worked there for years are dying. And it's like when, you know, they go to a town and they wonder why everybody, you know, people in a certain neighborhood have double, triple cancer, and it's more than that in these studies. They go, we better test the soil. And they go, oh, some, some company before this subdivision was built dumped dioxin into the soil. There was a, there was a factory here, and the developers didn't tell you. And you know about the Love Canal. There's there's thousands of these super fun sites. Much of Houston is one. That's why Houston has much higher cancer rates per capita than any other city in the United States. Uh, New Orleans is next because of all the toxic waste that runs into the Mississippi from the Midwest and, and, and then down there. It's incredible. It's incredible. And there's this cutthroat attitude by the establishment that, hey, it's all social Darwinism. Let everybody die. But then I see it even affecting the elites. It, it, it's what I mean. It's like it's like a nihilistic psycho uh, madman. Uh, I mean, this is madness to cold bloodedly know that with even with just a few years of the scanners and in previous studies when they were developing, they've studied the government studied everything. Ninety percent of research and development at universities is under DARPA alone now. The, the, an example, they knew bisphenol A combinations in major studies you can pull up in the 1940s. They were looking for a plastic liner that would reduce fertility but also male aggression. And then there's all these white papers on it that we've republished at InfoWars from the Rockefeller Foundation, UN and others. They, they, and, and, and then they get it deployed and then they even do uh, 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 rebates and things to factories and companies to then make sure that bisphenol A was adopted in the majority of plastic formulas. If you wanted a formula from Dow Chemical, you can research this or, or other companies that develop these systems. And there's a whole class of plastics that have the bisphenol A in them. 
It's in printer ink. It's probably in this printer ink right here, but I'm too dumb to check and stop it. Uh, and, and it's infertility everywhere. And, 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 and then they'll only give the license to factories for this. I mean, the, 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 so they'll sub-license it to the Chinese, the Indians, the Mexicans, you know, sub-companies uh, in the United States and Europe, knowing they went and found it, then wrote white papers on it. We've written articles about this. Then they deploy it, and then now decades later, <coughs> French news agency, chemical and plastic containers makes male mice act like females. And then they had George Soros funded groups come out last year, literally hundreds of articles over a month period, thinking it would hurt me, taking out of context what I said, saying juice boxes are making you gay. Well, no, I was reading studies on air that that it's it, it's causing hermaphrodite developments in fetal brains of mammals. Uh, you know, not just the not just the genitals, but 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 in the brain. And that's what's causing sexual confusion. And that's, uh, and it's not, again, coldly. It's not an issue of your identity. And, 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 they, and they do this to you, and then they have a media system that says it's your identity. You know, everybody needs to be nice to people. Well, absolutely. Uh, you should, people should be nice to you, but, and, the, and the religious folks shouldn't even be attacking people because separately from even a religious debate, this has been done to you. This has been, this has been done to you. And, and, and then you'll watch the George Soros crowds, the chemical, you know, engineer promoters, they'll come out and attack this again because I'm here telling you, I mean, I mean, is it homophobic to, to say that these mice had this done to them? No, it's a scientific discussion of how to create infertility and to stop the males and females merging and producing more offspring for a global program of depopulation that that your choice has been taken away from you and, and this has been done because it affects the brain, it affects the different uh, endocrine systems, it affects the genitals to the point of that all over the world in some major studies upwards of half of the fish and frogs and other amphibians including reptiles like snakes uh, have both sexual organs. It's so pronounced just what's going into the water as runoff in the embryonic development in the eggs of the fish and the frogs that this is happening. Now, mammals are bigger and tougher, but it's, it, it, and their study, it was just, this was all done, okay? And, and, and the point is, if this has been done to you and you like it, that's because that's now your chemical physiology. You've been re-engineered. I'm not making a moral statement on it. Get past the mind control. I'm saying to you, do you understand that this is a public plan and has been done? Male mice who were exposed as babies to BPA, a chemical common in canned foods and plastic containers, it lines the tin cans, everything, act more like females and are seen as less desirable mates, a U.S. study shows Monday. The findings should have implications on how BPA and bisphenol A may affect human development and behavior, and the study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. That is the most prestigious. The BPA exposed deer mice in the study look normal, but there's nothing obviously wrong with them, yet they are clearly different, said the lead author at the University of Missouri. Females do not want the mate BPA exposed male, because they're giving off different pheromones, they're giving off a female pheromone, and BPA exposed males perform worse on spatial navigation tasks. It also stunts you, development. You go, you go to a restaurant, most, most of the boys now just look like mutant brain damaged people. I mean, I'm sorry, it's, it's just, you know, it's hardcore. The girls are hyper female, they're growing taller, their growth hormone, they're having a, a, really a form of sub acromegalia. And that's why the women, what, what, there's a quadrupling now in breast cancer in the last 20 years? Oh, oh yeah, let's just forget the whole obsession over, you, you know, uh, uh, men suddenly, you know, everywhere, and it is happening, um, and, and the media then saying it's good, do it, do it, do it. You should know you're being chemically programmed. I'm not making a judgment about. Uh, because that's a distraction, okay? You understand, this is being done to you. Now, now let's get off the sex stuff, because everybody gets obsessed with that. Uh, this also increases cancer in males, and there's literally thousands of these studies going back to the 20s and 30s. 
and, and current ones, hundreds of current ones, women, women, they're not going to tell you why you get that breast tumor and, and why they then fry you with radiation and, and, and bug poison known as chemo and suck all the money out of you and then you, you'll die and you'll be put in a box. So let's get off the sex stuff now because, you know, uh, the Soros will still twist that and that's fine because people will actually find the truth. You need to know, women, that the males are feminized, you are hyper-feminized. That's why puberty was 13, 14, now on average it's 10 in the West, everywhere where this is done. And now some girls as young as three, tens of thousands now by age five are going into uh, puberty. You're hyper-aging as well. And the, the tissues that are affected more by this hyper-age, so you have the breast of a 95-year-old woman at 30. They've killed you, just like the TSA agents. I'm sorry they soft-killed most of us. This is People ask, why aren't uh, well, Europeans, why aren't Americans having children? Why does Europe have a 1.3 replacement rate? You know, your granddaddy and grandma had your, your mom, your dad. Um, they go out, they have children. They go out and meet people, marry them. Why aren't people having children? Why is fertility way down? Why is cancer off the chart? Why is diabetes off the chart? Why uh, uh, do, do, are men looking more feminine, behaving in feminine ways, not, n not acting the way males have always behaved? In Europe, they're passing laws where you're not allowed to call boys boys at school. They're not allowing gender. It's because, and this is in the Globalist documents, and Aldous Huxley wrote about this in his nonfiction books. His brother headed up the program at the UN, at UNESCO, Julian Huxley, that they would create a hermaphrodite drone that didn't even breed. I mean, this, this, look, truth is stranger than fiction. Um, I just unplugged my headset here. Let me get it. And so I had all this other news to cover, and I'll get into what happened with the TSA here in Texas, but uh, here is the uh, article by Paul Joseph Watson. Cancer surges and body scanner operators. TSA launches cover-up, and they've finally been forced to release some of the um, NIST documents, but they've blacked out the radiation meter levels. Um, continuing, uh, they also have measurements of the type of radiation leaking outside of the containment facility, but then they spin it and say, but we say that's safe. But then all the other independent studies say it's not safe, and now we have reports of higher cancer rates and that the TSA uh, is extremely concerned about all of this. Fearful of provoking further public resistance to naked airport body scanners, the TSA has been caught covering up a surge of cases in TSA workers developing cancer as a result of their close proximity to radiation firing devices. And again, this is classic lawyer speak. In the document I scanned over earlier, NIST blacks out the numbers because they don't want other engineers ever seeing it and going, that's deadly. They block out the numbers. Then they say, oh, this is safe, but we did measure these numbers outside of the machine splattering. It's like the TSA saying, we didn't make that 95-year-old take her diaper off. We just said you can't fly if you don't. See, it, it, it's all these lawyer tricks. Perhaps the most shocking revelation to emerge from the latest Freedom of Information Act documents obtained by Electronic Privacy Information Center. After union representatives at Boston discovered a cancer cluster amongst TSA workers linked with radiation from body scanners, the TSA sought to downplay the matter and refused to issue employees with uh, dosimeters to measure levels of exposure. Now, let, now let's stop right there. It is federal and state law. I know, my dad's a dentist. But anybody that's been in a hospital or anywhere around x-ray machines, um, you know on record that there's a radiation officer, they have to wear the badge, they have to have groups come in every month, check the calibration of the machines, because they get off very often and, and, and will fry you. And you've heard about uh, MRIs being calibrated wrong and people's hair falling out and getting cancer. They're so strong. So it's a serious issue, to, and that's what these are, are, are lower intensity MRIs really. Uh, and, 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 and so they're covering all this up, and it turns out for years, knowing about the cancer clusters. And finally, the TSA are waking up and getting concerned. The problem is, they'll, the smarter ones will just quit, and they'll hire even more crazy goons. And so they refuse to set up the proper radiation monitoring. Of course, they could be like the uh, 
EPA now, when radiation went up in the U.S. from Fukushima, they just raised the levels of what they say is safe, more gains. The documents indicate how a large number of workers have been falling victim to cancer, strokes, and heart disease. The department, rather than acting on it or explaining its position, seems to have just dismissed it. And it just goes on uh, as it breaks down. Th this article is so huge. We'll get more into the chemical assault on humanity when we get back. But this is just such incredible news. Speaking of radiation, cancer surges in body scanner operators. TSA launches cover-up. The union, according to Watson's article, and he's got links to some others, uh, reports that they've had big increases in cancer, one of the first airports many years ago to test the scanners out, and that they're uh, are, are charging. There's been a cover-up. Also, coming to a store near you, radioactive fish. That's up on Infowars.com. Uh, also, um, they're reporting all over the news that Fukushima is continuing to dump massive amounts of radiation uh, into the Pacific Ocean. And it's now been confirmed that uh, part of the nuclear power plant uh, has been flooded here in the United States, uh, in Nebraska. And there's a headline, um, what the Fukushima is going on in Omaha, that's from local talk news. Uh, and... Uh, the, with the history of government cover-ups, we don't know what the truth is. We know that there was a disaster right around a few days after Fukushima started uh, months and months ago up in uh, an area of Canada, and they released a bunch of radioactive uh, waste into the lake and said, don't worry about it. Uh, and radiation levels have gone up, and the media has been told by the government, hey, we're just raising what we say is safe. You know being shot in the head with a 357 Magnum would probably kill you, at least hurt you. But if the government just said, hey, 357 Magnum rounds fired into your head at point blank range no longer hurts you, would that suspend the laws of physics in nature? No, they wouldn't do that. Now, I meant to come into the show today and get into this incredible report. And, and again, there are thousands of studies all over the world going back 80, 90 years uh, dealing with plastics and that they are oils. They're, they're, they're oil-based and... Many of the drugs that Big Pharma has made are petrochemical based because they can manipulate it. And that the bisphenol A that's been adopted in most plastics, the liners of tin cans, plastic juice boxes, you know, all of it, uh, even the paper ones have that lining. It's how the paper doesn't, you know, doesn't get soggy, uh, doesn't break through. Normal paper box would, that it, it leaches estro estrogen mimickers and it, uh, and, and it also causes endocrine disruptions, overall disruptions, and uh, we uh, covered that report, and of course, uh, you, literally hundreds of these, if you just type in hermaphrodite frogs, hermaphrodite fish, uh, sterile fish, sterile frogs, uh, I've seen studies with upwards of half uh, of them in the southern Mississippi now being sterile or having both sexes, and, and it's also changing the brains of the frogs. Now, the, the globalists would spin this as a human right. The frogs have a right for us to dump us in the water and make them hermaphrodites or make them confused. See, it's a scientific issue, but they would say, you're being a hermaphrodite frogophobe. And I'm like, what does this have to do with people's sexual preference? I'm saying they're choosing it for you and that it's not like a preference. They have biologically altered who you are, and that's been the plan all along. And we cover it in the in-game extras, uh, the university documents where they talked about doing this. And now we got Holder and all the others. This is what they've done. And they're keeping it in the plastics. It's, they're keeping it in everything. They're doing it and they don't care. And they're not going to stop. Uh, you have to stop eating and drinking out of what they're doing. And then you've got the GMO crops. Every major GMO crop in every major even internal study has the, quote, side effect. It's the real effect. It's the perfect place to hide it in, in, in that genome that's so complex that only the, the genetic engineers who were inducted into this Malthusian eugenic school at the major universities, and then if they buy into it, they get the grants, they get the jobs, they then know what they're doing. Of course, they're all obsessed with organic food because they know what they're doing to everybody else. It's a cult. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds?
I want to commend everyone that marched into the Capitol for the second time in a month yesterday in Texas to try to ensure that a true bill to defend the Fourth Amendment, to defend the Tenth Amendment, to defend our dignity of our women and children would be passed. And they gutted it seven ways to Sunday. I'm going to be breaking that down. But resistance is victory. Uh, we've been talking to the reporters on the ground. It looks like now even the Senate and House version won't be able to be merged. So it'll probably die. But if it goes into special session, we've got to continue to analyze this bill and probably try to kill it. Um, but we're going to break that down, if not today, tomorrow. But and, and I haven't decided yet I'm going to go back down there today. Uh, so much is coming in fast and furious. Uh, if you just joined us, uh, breaking cancer surges in body scanner operations, TSA launches cover-up, and television in D.C. Uh, is reporting on this. And the uh, head of EPIC, uh, the Electronic with Privacy Information Center, great folks, uh, Mark Rottenberg, I think we've inter interviewed him. Uh, they've talked to the unions and others. And uh, the, it's been going on for years there at Boston and other airports where the TSA has, has been testing since late 2002, the scanners, huge cancer clusters. And uh, they use all the other private studies and even university studies have said it's d deadly. They've misrepresented John Hopkins and the head of the study went public last year and said, my study said it'll cause cancer. You misrepresented in the news saying I was for this. It's the same thing with uh, NIST. NIST will... Well, NIST has changed its story on Building 7 falling at free fall and how it fell five times now. Now they say they don't know why Building 7 fell on 9-11. So it's a very disreputable, you know, you know corrupt government-funded agency. I mean, what do you expect? Uh, I mean, uh, NIST has agreed with the UN that the sun doesn't affect climate and they're backing carbon taxes uh, with fake science. Of course, the sun drives climate. It's the main driver. Anyone who says otherwise is completely insane, according to all the top meteorologists we've interviewed. But your common sense, ladies and gentlemen, you know, knows that it affects and drives the climate. We would be absolute zero in a matter of days if the sun disappeared. I mean, it, it's, it's just asinine. And the sun's fluctuations, uh, like, a, like the, the heat on a fire, you know, when you're frying eggs, it, when, when the sun fluctuates up and down and the heat it's putting off, I, I can't believe I'm even having to explain this. You know that, okay? So they put out this report that they wouldn't give Congress last year. Finally, it's coming. They wouldn't give Congress this. The numbers are blacked out. And they're saying, yeah, there's some radiation leaking out of these. Uh, but uh, we, we say it's healthy for you. But then they black out what the radiation level is. Uh, and so uh, it is on. Uh, the fact that they've covered up the uh, cancer clusters. And this report is up at Infowars.com. This could break their back. The fact that it's not just travelers going through the, the porno scans that store an image of your body or that they're frisking you with dirty gloves that they don't change but every hundred or so searches, uh, that it violates the Fourth Amendment, trains kids to be molested. That's the equivalent of walking down a dark alley you know, in the worst area of New York or Chicago or Houston every time you go to the airport. You don't know what's going to happen to you. Untrained people on power trips told to do this stuff. They themselves victims of their own tyranny. Uh, they're being roasted by the machines, as I've kept explaining. We've had, we've had the, uh, we're going to get more on as well, the scientists, we've interviewed the radiologists. But, I mean, again, my dad's a dentist. They, they have a radiation officer they have to, who wears a badge. They're, they're checking it monthly. Companies have to come in and calibrate it and check it and do readings. Uh, but the federal government just says, our, we're exempt from our own laws. The, uh, they don't even have a regulation that does that. And they don't want to give Congress the numbers. So... So that article uh, is up at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Cancer surges and body scanner operators. TSA launches cover-up. And again, I'm not blaming even that local news. They, they, they did a good job. I, I don't, most people don't study every facet, every angle of an issue. But last year and this year, in fact, I'm going to get Paul to write another article or get Steve or, or, or Aaron or Kurt to do it. I know we wrote articles about it where Congress asked for it. They said, we've studied it. They just gave them a boil down. Then it turned out they hadn't tested the machines, aren't following federal and state law uh, for radiology testing of the equipment, and that there was a cover-up. So uh, then to have TSA tell the news, we test it. It's rigorous. It's, it's, it's there. They won't even give Congress this information because it turns out they're not doing it because criminals don't want a paper trail of what they've done. They could care less what happens. Hey, Rob, how you doing? What's going on? Come on in. What's going on? 
Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for that information. Yeah, this is an oh, this is a different memo than what he linked to. Yeah. Good. We're getting more documents in here. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, now continuing uh, here, ladies and gentlemen. I, I haven't even gotten into the Financial Times of London that is the globalist mouthpiece that openly calls for world government. Uh, their foreign editors wrote an article called uh, Now for World Government saying, yes, it's stealth, yes, it's authoritarian, it's for your own good, you conspiracy scum, you know, basically. Uh, they have a new one out, a dollar seen losing global reserve status, and they talk about basically the end of the United States because all we've got left is the dollar. It's being devalued, but when we lose it, ladies and gentlemen, all Hades is going to break loose, and you've got, on average, a nation of drugged out, bisphenol A uh, weirdos uh, who, who don't want to tie their shoelaces. It's not that they can't tie their shoelaces. They've been chemically lobotomized. They've been victimized to the point they can't even operate. And again, here is... Um, the French news agency, chemicals in plastic containers make mice, uh, make male mice act like females. And there's all the other studies about the reduced fertility. This has been done uh, also in humans. Um, that's why areas of Europe have banned it. But it's a little too late because <coughs> now it's basically in everything. Uh, it goes on. Uh, but, but what they don't cover in this study is what the other studies show of the breast cancer in women. And I warned you about this over and over again, so we're going to pull up the next video here uh, where I got demonized by all the big uh, media matters type outfits that I was being homophobic. Uh, let, let's get all that aside, okay? Uh, you understand, if I talk about mice becoming feminine and uh, in the studies uh, that are out there, the same with the fish, dogs, they've done it, they, they begin to... to want to be mounted by males because it, because it affects the area of the brain. I mean, if this stuff's so strong in fish that it's making them have both sexual organs or lizards or snakes or amphibians like frogs and toads, and I read those articles earlier, what do you think it's doing to humans? You know, the point is, this is going on and you should know about it. So instead, the George Soros outfits, they come out and attack us saying we're bashing gay people. It has nothing to do with that. I mean, if I'm talking about mice being turned into basically females, males, am I, am I now homophobic against gay mice? It, it's, it, it's chemicals being done to us. Be, be adults. Um, we'll come back from break and play, you know, the clip that they edited together and took out of context where I was talking about juice boxes and how, how it has bisphenol A in it. But, but, but let's just say it's a gift from the globalist to uh, make men become s sterile part or reduce fertility and to uh, develop the area of their brain. You're feeding the brain female hormones. They begin to become attracted to males because the, the olfactory nerve smells, and that's what's happened with the mice in the studies. The females don't want these mice, but other males that haven't been given it, they then want the male mice that have been given it. So your olfactory nerve picks up the pheromone you know, that's what that's why your underarms stink. That's your musk for the for the brain to to, 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 to pick up. It's it's how mammals operate. I'll explain it when we come back. But your thoughts will soon be wandering the way they always do. All right. When you're riding six. Let's go ahead and get back to the hardcore news. Now, remember. Almost all, and just type it in, most receipts in the U.S., most printer cartridges are pure bisphenol A. The toner medium, the uh, color is uh, something else, but the, the, the liquid is liquid plastic bisphenol A. Just touching a few receipts lowers fertility. I'm so weak-minded that I still use a cell phone. The point is they just put it into our environment knowing we're designed to live in our environment. I still use a cell phone, admitted massive brain tumors. Again, even as much as I know, they have made this our environment. Where I always catch myself, somebody gives me a tin can of water or whatever, you know, flavored water, and I go, oh my gosh, and I cut the can open, it's plastic line bisphenol A. I look on the bottom, bisphenol A. So I'm like super, you know, male, high testosterone, but it's a lot lower than it would be. So I'm weak. Now, a, a male that wouldn't be dominant is extremely feminine. That's why the male genitals 
across the Western world, anywhere bisphenol A is using, generation after generation are getting smaller. You don't even have testosterone. It's why cops now, even police chiefs are saying, openly take testosterone because they're not males anymore. They have to take steroids. I may reverse myself on steroids, uh, something I've always been against from research, but if we don't have them, it's almost like Cushing syndrome. We need the steroids now. I mean, this, this is hard core, ladies and gentlemen. But remember, the media is going to spin this and go, Alex says juice boxes make you gay, like they did last year when I was reading mainline studies then. But never telling you I'm reading a study. They cut that out. They'll cut this out as well. The Soros people will. Now, but it won't matter because then people in the comments of the articles go, well, wait, he's talking about bisphenol A. Why is this all cut up? Again, they know and don't want you to know because they're population exterminist. Now, let's play one of the edited clips of, of, of many online, but it's still clear what I'm saying about bisphenol A with Bob Chapman a year and a half ago. Here it is. But the reason there's so many gay people now is because it's a chemical warfare operation. I have the government documents where they said they're going to encourage homosexuality with chemicals so that people don't have children. I, I even catch myself, Bob, drinking out of these estrogen uh, mimickers. In fact, you'll probably say it if it's lined with it inside the plastic packaging. Uh, I wonder if this spring water, natural lime flavor I'm drinking. I know full well HEB's putting fluoride in this. Why am I drinking this? I know full well these kettle chips say that they don't have MSG, but they've got the yeast extract thing that says it's MSG. What's wrong with us? Why won't we stop? Why am I so weak? And they know that they have the immersed box. us in this, Bob. For those watching on PrisonPlanet.tv, here's the inside of this juice box. And if, you, and if they zoom in any more, see that thin plastic? It's got it. And I'm letting my children drink this. Why? Because after you're done drinking your little juices, well, you, I mean, you're, you're, you're ready to go out and have a baby. You're ready to put makeup on. You're ready to wear a short skirt. You're ready to go, uh, you know... Uh, Put together a you know a garden of roses or all right, something. Stop right there. You're ready to put lipstick on. Look. That now now again before all over the world puberty was 13 to 14 in girls. Now in the West it's 10 on average. As young as three. Don't believe me? Just type it in mainstream news. Three year olds going into puberty. Hundreds of thousands in the U.S. Five year olds. So again, the media spins this like he's attacking our wonderful gayness. Everyone's turning gay. It's wonderful. I'm not making a judgment about that. That's how mind-controlled you are. It's under chemical attack. They're changing who we are so we don't have children. I'm not getting caught up in your distraction. I mean, if they put a microchip in our head to make us automaton drones, you know, would they say don't discriminate against drones? It was artificially done. That's why there's the explosion. But let's get all the gay stuff out of it. Why are little girls going into puberty? Well, next it'll be, you're against discriminating against the five-year-old girls that want to dress like hookers and are running around, you know, going into puberty early. People wonder why they see, like, 10-year-olds with breast and, 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 and all this crazy sexual promiscuous because the boys have been feminized, the girls have been hyper-feminized, and all of their organs... Because that's what causes cancer is the hormone flux. That's why, again, sharks don't get cancer. They don't have hormones. They have a different s system. That's why women get breast cancer. It's one of the biggest reasons. And they know this. They're murdering you. But, again, you don't want to hear that. You want to go have a jog for breast cancer and give it to the cancer society that then helps cover all this up. They know. And, of course, here's the other articles. Diabetes doubling the last 10 years. MSNBC. Um... Uh, Scientific American, they're murdering us. 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 They're murdering us.